Okay, here's what we're doing. We're gonna do a brake test of these three unicycles here. We have the Kingsong 14D, the InMotion V10, and the InMotion V8. All of them are great, are great electric unicycles. Stopping power is very reminiscent and exactly tied to acceleration power. It's a measure of how quickly uh, the battery and the engine can dissipate and or deliver power. So what we're gonna do is take some chalk here and make a stop line. We're gonna limit all of the, all three unicycles in the app to a top speed of 15 miles an hour. And then add a line, we're gonna slam on the brakes and we're gonna see which one outstops them. It's a little bit harder to do a drag race. We might try it later, but we're definitely gonna check stopping distance. It is our hunch after riding all three of these all day today that the Kingsong 14D is gonna crush the other two in both acceleration and braking, which makes it an urban monster. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna limit all of these electric cycles to 24 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour. I'm gonna max out that speed and hit the brakes as hard as I possibly can at our stop chalk mark on the road. So right now, King Song 14D is at 24 kilometers an hour. He's gonna slam on the brakes at this line. That was good, stop there. We grab the chalk. Okay, there's one. We're gonna do three tests. Three tests. Test. Test, test one. That is a really peppy, peppy unicycle. I love it. Not the most glamorous, but does the job. I think I was going just a little tad bit faster on that one. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Brake test number four. Bam. Very, very consistent. So that's a pretty good range for the 14D. Out of four tests, top speed, there's our brake lines. Not about two, a two foot variance. Very good. Let's see how much farther ahead the V8 and the V10 are gonna be, because they can't match this. What's your prediction? Uh, they're gonna be like six feet ahead. All right, six feet, let's yeah. give it a go. Okay, limit is 24 kilometers an hour. 15 miles an hour. Hold on. There we go. See it, hold on. Maxed out at 15, we're good to go. Okay, let's do it. On the V8. It's got the protective cover, which is always nice. <laughs> oh, that's a surprise. Wow. I can't, I actually can't believe that just happened. Let's mark it and see where we are. Wow. Very nice. All right. <laughs> Surprised us both. Give it another go. Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna call that somewhere over here. Go again, let's get a few more. That feel faster? Yeah, I think I was doing more, more speed. Okay. Huge range. Yeah, there's a little bit of range there. Huge range. Let's keep, let's keep going here. Keep going, let's get something consistent. Now we're getting some consistency here. It's a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be though. Yeah, this is pretty, this is pretty this good. This is consistent. It feels good. Feels good? Yeah. Give it a few more. Yeah, I'll just keep going. That first one seems to be a smidge of a fluke there. I think I slowed down for that. Okay. I, I was late on that one. You were late. Okay, yeah. we won't mark it. Try it again. Let's do one more. We got some rider error. Definitely a little rider, rider variability. That's spot okay. on You're right spot there. on there. That's it. Okay, good. I think that's a consistent test. You think you were slow on this stop one? All right, yeah, let's, let's okay. discount that. We're gonna not count this one. Yep. So uh, right here, 
this is the range. It's a couple feet. It's pretty minimal, honestly. The V8 feels, it feels good. Um, I can confidently stop on this too. I can lean back as much as I feel like is necessary and really kind of lean on the brakes. Uh, the King Song sometimes feels like I can stop more consistently and more accurately because I can just really decelerate and just bang back on that pedal. Uh, whereas the V8 is just a little bit, a little bit harder, a little bit stiffer of a, just a, a leaning factor. So, um, and I've got the King Song set to just like a, a softer ride. It's kind of in the middle between soft and stiff. Let's try the V10. I think the V10 is, is going to be over there. That's my prediction. I could be wrong again though. Who knows? <laughs> he says he's the most confident on the V8. Yeah. I mean, it's really fluid. It's a nice unicycle. The V, the KS14D, I'm not as confident on right now because Preston set his tire PSI too high for Let, my weight. Let's them out. So if we let them out, that might help a little bit. You know, let's have a quick conversation about tire pressure. Yeah, let's talk about that. So um, this week, look at the lens, not the. Thing. I'm looking at the lens. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> let's talk about tire pressure. All right, so let's talk about tire pressure a little bit. This is hugely, hugely important. Preston and I are about 15, 20 pounds apart. Uh, I'm 140, you're 165. 165, so yep. maybe a little bit more. And uh, I mean, I run my tire pressures pretty low. When I'm, a, I, I'm a light rider, I'm right at the bottom. Of the when threshold. I get on uh, the unicycles he's been riding, I feel like that tire pressure is too soft. If I bounce up and down a little bit, I can feel the pressure. I also feel a tremendous amount of ground friction when I try and swivel under my hips. So I add maybe three, four pounds yeah. to everything you're riding. Maybe more. And maybe more, but vice versa. When he gets on what I'm riding, it feels way too stiff and unstable. Now let's, this is really important. If your unicycle feels unstable or you get a speed wobble, woo -doo -doo -doo, when you start to speed up, take a, PSI a little bit, out or just two. a little bit, one or two PSI is gonna make a huge difference. Yeah. Dial it in for your weight, for your riding style. Find that, uh, that sweet spot between maneuverability and stability, um, and you'll really have a great ride. So if you're having troubles, try tire pressure. It is hugely important and nobody talks about it. Oh, it's, I mean, it Nobody's can make or break your experience on an electric unicycle. That's right. And fine tuning that is really perfecting your riding experience. So let's fine tune so, it. Yeah. All right, here we go. So let's, so point, point. We're gonna let some air out of the V10. Just a bit. Yeah. Just a bit to get it back to what you like mm -hmm. before we do the brake test on it. Let's do it. Okay? Cool. All right. Rider pressure. What's your scientific method for getting the right pressure? Squeeze. Uh huh. It's very imprecise. <laughs> but it works every time. <laughs> now, quite honestly, guys, he's only letting out maybe one, two PSI. That's it. That's all is needed. That's pretty good. Okay, give it a go. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> what, two PSI? Yeah. He's a sissy. It's like, it's like I just, I'm riding on a cloud. It's amazing. I love it. It's, it's a big improvement. Do you have top speed limited? Nope. He's got to limit the top speed to 24 kilometers an hour, 15 miles an hour, so that our stop test is consistent. The whole idea is to top out the top out the unicycle so it pushes back just before the stop line, and then we'll run a few tests to try and keep some consistency. 15 miles an hour. There it is. Okay. All right. Give it a go. Such a shame, but for the sake of science, I guess. Science. Electric unicycle science. Pay attention, the V10 has an amazingly loud alarm. Wow. You consider that stop point? <laughs> it's pretty, pretty bad. Okay, well, we'll mark it. Let's try it again. Yeah, we get averages. Yeah. <laughs> you see how I almost fell back though? I did. You were on your heels, weren't you? Yeah, I really was. That's better. That's more like it. That was a lot better. You might have an outlier. What are you looking at? I wanna turn this volume off. Turn the volume down? It's terrible. Nonsense, it's wonderful. <laughs> she should be somewhere between these two lines for consistency. Ooh, better. A little bit better. Much better. 
But like I'm not as confident on this. You're not as confident leaning back? No. Why? It just doesn't stop as quickly. It's, it feels heavy. Do you think it's, it just think, feels you think it's the weight of the of the unicycle or the programming? A little bit of both, maybe. I mean, the, it's it's 15 pounds heavier than the V8, and even more than the KS14D. Give it another go. Yeah, let's try one more time. Okay, between these three lines. Yep. That's consistent. That's consistency right there. Yeah, so let's do a couple more. There you go. See? Right on it. Not happy. Not happy. Not but happy. I think you were you were pretty much in an emergency though. Look somewhere, how, somewhere. Look how far look how far away I am. Okay, know. yeah. Actually let's look at that. You ready? This is at fifteen miles an hour. Imagine going 18 or 20 or 25 or that's 25. the top speed of the v10 yeah so this is you know this is this is two steps to the v8 another step to the king song and uh you know it's a pretty big difference the v8 and the king song were, were pretty even the king song was just a little bit shorter i think it was it's the king song you can lean back faster and you can you can burn off speed quicker um and the V10 is just, it just feels heavy. It's like the difference between a sports car and an SUV. Well, that's what that is, right? Yeah, it is. And this this rides so stably, so smoothly, and so effortlessly at speed. That's really where this shines. Um, and you know, you've got a 14 inch wheel that is a lot more agile, a lot more accurate where you're placing it, and lighter weight, uh, quicker, quicker to accelerate. It effectively has a lower gear ratio because it's a smaller wheel. And that all makes sense. It's about what you'd expect. This V10 almost rides like an 18-inch wheel, uh, just because of how much larger the tire is. So, not terribly surprising results, but uh, interesting to see nonetheless. And ref th these results are reflected in the acceleration feel of these unicycles as well. So, uh, this is just this is just offline acceleration and braking. There's a lot more that goes into the, the nuances of these unicycles and what makes them each one unique and special and just fun to ride. Uh, but we're gonna cover that in another video. For this, we just kind of wanted to focus on what we thought these might do in braking and acceleration scenarios. Uh, let's maybe do some drag racing too. Um, we'll throw that in here at the end. Okay, so you see the V10 stopping here. A couple feet closer, the V8, maybe a foot and a half closer to the KS14D to our stop line, all limited, 15 miles an hour, 24 kilometers an hour in that test, same rider, just to give you an idea of what it's like to stop the three of them. And 15 is a pretty good cruising speed. Usually, Very comfortable. Yeah, usually we're at like between 15 to 17 on these, which, uh, between all of them, honestly. The nice thing about the V10 is that you can fly by and you've got passing power up to 20, 25 miles an hour. But uh, usually we, we noticed today on the 30 miles that we went, uh, we were usually sitting around 15 to 18 miles an hour, so pretty consistent. I feel like this is a relatively scientific and accurate test. Darn right. Yeah. Someone will probably disagree, but sidewalk okay. chalk. You can't. You How can't much go more wrong scientific does it get? Exactly. Scientific. Yeah. That's exactly that's, what I'm that's saying. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> So fun. Oh, pedal scrape. That means you're running it nice. You can scrape those pedals all day long too. <laughs> yes, you can. Oh, I love the handle on the 14D, by the way. This handle is awesome. Downside, there's no disconnect. So if you pick it up, you actually have to reach down and turn it off. You have to reach down and hit this button before you pick it up, which kind of stinks because it's light enough and the handle's short enough where you could pick it up just from the handle. So you gotta do this and then pick it up from here or collapse and carry from here. Both the V8 and the V10 have a button under the handle that disconnects uh, the sensor. And for those of you who have never owned or Hello, ridden so. electric unicycles, you want to disconnect. Otherwise, they get real mad. They, See that? they do a burnout. They do a little burnout. They get real mad. You do not want this to come off the ground without having it disconnected, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. So learning.
Let's drag race. All right, guys, so see this shadow of this pole right here? That's our finish line. That's gonna determine who wins the race. Now, we've got all the speed set back to the maximums. So the King Song eight, uh, 14D is at 18.5 miles an hour. The V8 Solo Wheel 3 is at 18.5 miles an hour. And the V10 is gonna be at 25 miles an hour. Um, we're not really gonna be doing long drag races. These are gonna be kind of acceleration tests. Batteries are nearly full on all of them. Yeah, they're in good shape. We have the King Song 14D versus the V8 in the first round. All right. Where's our start line? This crack? Eh, let's do this. Let's start with this. Uh, this right here. This we'll do. Away. We'll do pole to pole. Oh my gosh! Ready? Rolling, 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 rolling on power. Oh! Yeah, they're pretty even. That was a dead tie. That was pretty close. That was a real. That was yeah. real close. Yeah. Let's give it a few more. Let's do one more. That was really close. Yeah. Give me a three, two, one, go. Okay. I think I can push, I think I can push the King Song a little more than that. All right. I didn't same. get a pushback warning. Same deal? Yep, same deal. Okay, ready? Ready, set, go. Oh, why, oh, you know what? I got a pushback. Ah. The King Song, the King Song doesn't like how hard I'm pushing. I'm gonna try a little bit lighter and I think I'm gonna get a better overall acceleration. Should we switch? Let's do one more. All right. And we'll switch. But they're pretty close. They're very close. The V8 feels good. Yeah, the, the King Song is really pulling. Uh, the King Song's pulling great. It's just, I'm, I'm over leaning. It's giving me an over lean warning. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yep. You're up. Ready, set, go. That overlean on the V8? Just a little bit. Okay. Yep, just a bit. So I see it under the overlean. You got one, but you beat me. Yeah. Let's switch. Let's switch, all right. Comment. Chris has a weight advantage. He's lighter than me. So we're each gonna ride, uh, we're gonna switch. We're each gonna ride each other's to try and see if we have a consistent advantage even with our weight. Yeah. They're very close. Yeah, they are. They're very close. Woohoo! Electric unicycles. They're fun. Oh, dude, I feel I feel so good on the V8. I know the V8's the V8 is it's kind so of comfortable. It's kind of the sweetheart. It's so comfortable. They're yeah, they're, they're all good. You kind of have to buy all of them. You gotta have them all. But uh, the V8 is really good. If you're gonna have one, maybe the V8. Uh, I, I would uh, if I had to have one. I think I would probably choose the V8. Over the long term, it's been my one go-to. It really has. I would tend to agree with you on that one. All right, let's do it. Okay, you rolling? Yeah. Slow down a little bit. All right, ready, set, go. Ooh. Wow. Also, my weight advantage. You have the weight advantage. I did hit overlean. Yep. I hit it. I didn't on mine. You did not? No, I did not. Well, that was a good race then. Yeah, it was. You, you leaned well. Let's try one more time. All right. Very close. Yeah. And I think also the King Song tends to get a little bit hot if you push it. Well, that, that could be. And that could be, you know, just to protect the battery. Sure. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a slow roll here, as the cars would do, honk, 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 honk. Oh, I got overlean. I hit it. I hit it. We, we, these we, these are dead even. They're dead. Even. They're dead even. All right. These are, these <laughs> I think we've honk. established that they're dead even. Okay, so now I'm real curious. I think we. I think since these are dead even, I just have this real feeling that the V10 is slower than the two of them. So I think we should. I, since I feel more comfortable comfortable on the V8, I think we should do the V8 versus the V10. Let's do it. Okay. Go. Ooh. I need a little. I need a little more start warning. All right. V10 just pulls though. It pulls hard the consistently. V10 pulls, but I think you jump me. <laughs> I think you jump me off the line. No replacement for displacement. That's right. That's true. That's true. You got a V8 <laughs> versus a V10. <laughs> You're different. <laughs> okay, give me a three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I started to catch you though. You yeah, jumped. I uh, you... That's because I, I hit overlean. Yep. You had uh, you had the start on me. 
and then I was catching up. I, I hit overlean. Yep. You know, they're all pretty evenly matched they're, they're really, from a dig. They're actually really close. They're closer yeah. than I thought they they're, were they're, be. It's funny because they feel they so feel different. different. It's how they put down their power. It's, it's, it's maybe just the responsiveness. Well, let's try it again. But the braking test definitely, braking test there's a difference. Scientific. Yeah. Okay. This, is just, three, two, this is just fun. Let's try it again. I hit overlean. If I stay on this side of overlean, I think that we'll be pretty even. All right. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> See the V10 and once I hit it, it at the end. Yeah. I hit it at the end. You've got me on the start and then I start to catch up. Let's go again. All right. And on the switch. <laughs> so fun. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right. So let's go slow here. Slow, slow, slow. Three, two, one, go. You got a head start on me, boy. Woo! <laughs> so it looks like the V8 has slightly quicker off the line acceleration than the V10 and then midway above like eh, maybe 10, 10, 12 miles an hour, V10 starts to, starts to, starts to, pull starts to gain. Ahead. Yeah, well, it really not, starts to pull yeah, strong. Let's, let's talk about that. All right, V8 versus V10 drag race. Uh, V8's a little bit faster immediately off the line midway through the v10 starts to pull a little bit harder um i think ultimately the v10 is quicker over a set distance yeah v10 is quicker feels quicker off the line yeah v v8 is definitely quicker off the line v10 has a little more higher end pull could right? be a weight thing too it could be weight let's switch it up yeah. and give it a go all right okay it feels slower but so stable it, yeah, it's, yeah it is stable but it feels slower i know i know <laughs> preston's on the v10 i'm on the v8 we switched here Ready, set, go. Overlord, please get off. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It dumped me off. It dumped me off. Wow. It dumped me off. It just gave me an overheat warning. Really? And now it now it's wonky. There you it's go. Like, get off. Look at this, trying to drive backwards. Shoot. What's it doing? I don't know. Let's turn off, turn on again. Whoa. Whoa, that was weird. That hasn't happened yet. So, so it, it gave me a warning and said, get off. Yeah. And then it just put on the, it jumped me off the back of it. I mean, gracefully. Yeah. Not unsafely. Yeah. But it definitely did not like that. No, it but wasn't it was happening. not an over lean warning. Interesting. Let's, let's check the temp. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn it back on. We're going to look at temp. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So looking at the V10. Here, get this thing centered up on there. All right, so we've got mainboards at 106. 106 That's not, not too bad. Maybe it's just an overlean. It was. It said, "Warning, get off." Yeah. Eh. Wow. Let's try that one more time. How do you feel? You feel okay about that? Let's uh, let's give it a few to cool. All right. You want to just ride just, it around I wanna, slowly? I just want to let it sit for a few minutes. <laughs> okay. It let's was. The it cool. was just sitting for a few minutes. Yeah, but I smoked you. Yeah. You. You had I, me a I little was, bit. Yeah. I was way forward yeah, you, on this thing. You, you had me. I had you. Uh -huh. It didn't overlean me, but it did tell me to get off. <laughs> I guess it doesn't like to be abused. It doesn't like to be drag raced. <laughs> I guess not. It's a Cadillac. <laughs> V8's still rocking. All right, so both our main board temps are about 100 degrees. Okay. All right, Preston's on the V10. I'm on the V8. Three, two, one, go. Gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. They're still pretty even though. They're, yeah, they're, all they're, things considered, they're all about even. They're, they're very close. Yeah. Which is the most surprising thing to me because I thought the V8 would be noticeably quicker. I thought it would be quicker too, but yeah. very close. Got to extract some more power out of the firmware. I'm getting really, uh, really impressed with the V10. Yeah. The V10 is really impressive. Let's give it another one. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> well, <start. laughs> yeah, I mean, you you just start to catch up, I you know? I start to roll past you. You yeah. hit over lean. Yeah. And I'm like, still cruising forward. Yep. 
Yeah, and I mean, they're both, man, they're all three are really close on the drag race. I know. Really close. I know. I mean. This feels slower, but it's the same. Yeah. And the really, the only place where there's a difference is on the braking. And, you know, of course, just the general riding feel. Feel of it. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's, and everybody's, character. everybody's quick. Let's do one more. All right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> it's really close. How do you feel accelerating on that? Do you feel confident? Um, okay, so let's talk about that. Do I feel confident accelerating? Yes. And here's why. There's no overlean warning. Yeah, that's true. So you can really so, just so, power so let's, through. So let's just it. let's just talk about this from a more of like a design safety uh, overbuild scenario. The V10 is sitting at 2,000 watts. That is an enormous motor. The V8's at 800. There's not a lot of weight difference between them, especially with the two of us considering. Right, we're right about the same. Yeah. If the V8 is accelerating at the same speed as the V10, that means the V10 is significantly underutilizing its battery and motor. Which safer. is good for safety. Safety. Yep. Really good for safety. Now, I don't want one of these to cut out on me. So if there's a gray out, if the, if the board or my riding is demanding a voltage and current higher than the lithium battery can provide, there's a little bit of gray out, there's gonna be a blip. I've never had that happen on any wheel I've ever ridden, ever. Just disclaimer, but I don't want it to. So it feels good knowing that I have a lot of reserve in this power. It's a monster engine that's detuned, is how I feel. Now, like that. <laughs> the Lexus. I like the Lexus. It's a, it's a Lexus. It's a Lexus. <laughs> it, it, it is, it is a Lexus. It's smooth, it's comfortable, it's quiet, um, it's fast. Um, but it feels a little bit more sluggish. I think that's because they've put a tremendous amount of power, a tremendous amount of thought, and they have it detuned for safety. That's what I think is going on here. So I feel safe. I am up on my toes a little bit, but I'm not worried about the overlean. That's good. That's important. Yeah, because yeah. I was hitting it every time. I was hitting the overlean on the V8 and the KS14D every time. I never hit it on this. Now, when this told me to get off, it said, warning, get off, the main board was the same temperature as the V8 even though this has a cooling a cooling fan and dual core. Maybe that was just a glitch. And, well, it could have been a glitch, or it could be very conservative in its power distribution, demand, yeah. and riding what, it, what it's allowing me to pull. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and this is still very early build, early firmware. Pretty new, pretty new. I mean, there are only a handful of V8s. We have one of, a, one of I think, about a dozen in the US right now. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. That's it, there you go, guys. I like them all. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you think? You buy all of them. You get like six to eight electric unit cycles and call it a day. That's about the best advice I could yeah, give so anyone. Just, just keep getting them <laughs> and let your friends ride them. Don't worry about if you wreck them or let yeah. them cartwheel down a so hill. We've done that to all of these. Yeah. They're all very reliable. What's beeping? Oh good, it's not a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fun day. Good day. All right, let's go ride more.